assistant, and you may kiss the new assistant. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you all very much for being with me on this very special day. It is a great honor for me to be officially installed as the Assistant Attorney General for the Criminal Division of the United States Department of Justice. Uh, this position offers an unparalleled opportunity for public service. As many of you in this room know, uh, this is a post which I have for at least two decades aspired to uh, since my days as the United States Attorney for the Eastern District of Michigan. Uh, I was privileged to work with two great Assistant Attorneys General for the Criminal Division, uh, Ben Civiletti and Phil Hyman, and I'm delighted, Ben, that you're here today to share this special moment. Uh, the former Attorney General of the United States, Ben Civiletti. Thanks, Ben. People rarely achieve all of their professional goals in life, and I feel fortunate indeed to have been given the opportunity to fulfill this lifelong uh, dream, or at least the last 20 years. Uh, it's particularly poignant for me to have had the oath of office administered by my mentor, my former partner, uh, my longtime friend, Judge Avern Cohn. Uh, thank you, Avern, for your thoughtful remarks, for your presence here today, and for all that you taught me over those many years we practiced law together. Uh, I also very much appreciate the presence and participation in this ceremony today of our two outstanding United States Senators from Michigan, Carl Levin and Spencer Abraham. Uh, Carl and Spence were both extraordinarily helpful to me uh, in facilitating my confirmation by, uh, by the Senate, and I very much appreciate their participation today and their very kind, kind words. Uh, it's also a source of pleasure and pride to be joined today by, um, by so many friends and former colleagues. I can't identify all of them, although I'm going to mention a few and obviously run the risk of uh, leaving somebody out inadvertently. But, uh, uh, a number of my former law partners at the Huntington Miller, Schwartz & Cohn firm are here, uh, and I appreciate their being here. Uh, my friend Bill Holcomer, who I started in practice together uh, uh, almost 30 years ago, is, uh, is, is here, and, um, and I'm delighted that, uh, that he and Marsha are here uh, also with me. A number of my colleagues from Wayne State University, including President Reed and uh, my great associate dean, Freddie Lombard, are, are here, and a number of members of the, of the Wayne faculty and administration are here, and I'm delighted that they've traveled to, uh, to Washington for this great event. I'm also pleased that my predecessor as dean of Wayne State University Law School and my longtime mentor and friend, John Reed, of the University of Michigan Law School is, is here. We've worked together on so many projects in the evidence area over the years. He's, a, he's been a great inspiration to me, and I'm delighted that he and, and Dot are, are here. I'm also pleased that uh, a, a number of former United States attorneys for the assistant United States attorneys from the Eastern District of Michigan uh, joined me here today, and a number of my colleagues as U.S. attorneys in the Carter administration. Uh, I was delighted to see Bob, Bob Fisk and uh, uh, Pete Fira and uh, my great friend uh, Willie Moore, who, uh, who I joined in the summer of 1977 in this building when we wandered in here to get oriented as brand new uh, um, United States attorneys, and Judge Moore is now a United States district judge in Savannah, Georgia, and I'm glad that he and Jane are are, are here as well. It was a little like old home week for me to return to the Department of Justice and find uh, still here working hard uh, for so many years uh, some of the legendary figures in the criminal division and in the Justice Department. Uh, Jack Keeney and Mark, Mark Richard, uh, uh, Dave Margolis, uh, Paul Coffey, uh, people that uh, I, I came to know and respect in those days, and uh, you come back and they're still here uh, working hard, doing the people's work and doing a, doing a great job. Uh, 
Uh, it's obvious that my roots in Michigan are very strong from the speakers who are, who are here today. My father was a regional director for the United Automobile Workers. Uh, he was active in politics and civic affairs throughout his life. He instilled in our family a, a sense of the importance of public service and the value of public service. And, uh, and even though he's been gone now for, uh, uh, for over 20 years, I, I know that he continues for me to be a great source of inspiration. I'm confident that he would approve of uh, this event today, and if there was any doubt about it, uh, my mother told me last night that he would, and uh, so <laughs> delighted uh, 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 that uh, I'm also delighted that so many uh, uh, other Michigan friends are here, and, and I should just report a small, uh, a small early success, uh, uh, and, and that was that I managed to wrestle the portrait of Justice Frank Murphy away from the uh, uh, from Assistant Attorney General Lois Schiffer uh, to put in my office. Justice Murphy was the Attorney General of the United States in 1940. Uh, he had been a Recorder's Court judge, mayor of, uh, mayor of Detroit, uh, governor of, of, of Michigan, and, uh, and then, of course, on the United States Supreme Court. But in my, uh, my labor uh, family, the important aspect of, uh, of Frank Murphy was that during the Flint sit-down strikes, uh, instead of uh, instead of having the Na National Guard storm the factories and throw out the strikers, he mediated the settlement that uh, led to the, uh, uh, the resolution of that important sit-down strike. And so Frank Murphy was always a fond memory in my uh, uh, my background, and I'm delighted that his portrait is now hanging in my in my office. Uh, I would. Uh, like to acknowledge the presence here of my mother, Marge Robinson, my my son Stephen, my daughter Renee, my sister, my sister Patty, um, and um, I'm delighted that they're here to share this very important day. Uh, most importantly, I think I, I owe a debt of, uh, of gratitude forever, and I'm sure I'll pay for it forever and happily so, uh, to my very best friend in the world, uh, my wife Marty who is a great trial lawyer in Michigan, and uh, I will be forever in her debt for supporting me in accepting this challenge, uh, even though it meant derailing our plan for a, a year-long sabbatical after my deanship, uh, at least de deferring it, if not uh, uh, defeating it entirely. Uh, two very important people I will also recognize, and they're people that uh, are probably the most important people other than Marty and the kids, my, my immediate family these days, and, and they're, uh, they're here, and, and that's uh, Gwen Turner and Rich Rossman. Uh, Gwen has been my, my uh, friend and secretary since I was the United States Attorney in Detroit in 1977. She's followed me around. She helped run the law school for the last five years. Uh, uh, she's an indispensable part of the team. I couldn't have come here without her, and uh, she's uh, already won over most of the people that are working with her uh, here, and I'm delighted that Gwen's here uh, with me. Rich Rossman was the chief assistant in the United States Attorney's Office in Detroit. He and I made a great team, I thought, and so I wrestled him out of uh, private practice uh, to uh, put the old team back together. He's serving ably and well as my uh, chief of staff in the, in the division, and frankly, now that I've been here for three months, I can't imagine what I'd be doing uh, without him, and uh, so I'm delighted that, that, uh, that he's here to share this important adventure. And thanks to Patty for letting him do it, even though he had to abandon that brand new uh, cottage in northern Michigan and uh, give up the big law firm to do it at least for a while. Let me just say, and uh, as I close, uh, a few words of thanks to the career lawyers and staff in the Department of Justice, and particularly the Criminal Division. Uh, thank you for the absolutely wonderful, supportive reception that I've been given here. Uh, particularly as we try to get up to speed. There's a lot to learn. The learning curve is awfully steep still. Uh, we're making some progress, and people have been very uh, uh, understanding and helpful as we've done that. The day-to-day -day work of the Justice Department and the Criminal Division is performed by extraordinarily dedicated and able people, and I uh, enjoy working with them every day. I, I always thought this would be the greatest job in the world, but since I got here, I really know it's true. The only trouble is there's just a little too much of it uh, uh, to do, but in any event, we'll, we'll get at that. Uh, let me also end by saying that uh, uh, it is, I have the privilege of, uh, of working with 
one of the most extraordinary persons that I have uh, ever been privileged to know, and that is the Attorney General of the United States, Janet Reno. Uh, she has boundless energy. She has a wonderful sense of humor. Uh, she is an island of calm and poise and a sea too often filled with controversy, contention, and everyday very tough judgment calls. Uh, her passion for fairness and justice is unsurpassed. She presses all of us in the Justice Department to do better, to be imaginative, to do the right thing, to be proactive, not simply reactive in dealing with our uh, very important agendas. Uh, I'm grateful to her for recommending me to the President of the United States, to the President for the nomination, and of course to the Senate for confirming me. And I pledge to all of you to do my very best to bring honor to the Department of Justice and to the Criminal Division. And I appreciate very much all of you being here with me to share this very special moment. Thank you so much.